Today's topic is rotary knife and for rotary knife we will use a cam profile. Cam profile in fact was developed mainly for such an application. Anything that you need to do on the fly like rotary knife, flying cutting, flying shear, flying whatever. So let's get started and there are a few things that you need to define in advance. The first thing, do you want to cut fixed or different sizes of the lengths of your material. So for this we will say okay we want to cut different sizes. Then second point is that you need to say what is your minimum and maximum cutting length. So for this we will say minimum 500 of our points and maximum 2000 of our points. The third thing is that your master and slave needs to have exactly the same units and needs to be properly scaled. For example, if you have millimeters feeding the material, then you need to have the same units which are based on linear speed of top of the blade of the knife because you want to cut it on the fly and you don't want to mess it up. First of all, we have our master and slave axis exactly in the units what we want. We say degrees and our example is going to be in degrees. And let's first of all create our flying shear cam profile. So we add cam table, let's call it, I said flying shear, it's a rotary knife. But as you will see, it's more or less exactly the same. First of all, let's go to cam table and remove everything here. Now we said that we want maximum cutting length of 2000 and we want this to be changeable. So what you will do is right click on the cam profile properties, go to cam and then set up your master start position and end position. Now end position when you say 2000, for our example and the way how to handle different lengths that you don't need to stop and go and so on is to provide an end position for a master much higher. So let's put it to two and a half thousand. And I will explain why. If we go to our cam profile, the master position down will determine our cutting length. And we need more, mainly because we will use additional function blocks to provide the proper cutting length. We need to do first a stationary area. And we will say it's enough, for example, 300 of master length for complete rotary knife cycle. Let's add another point. 300 minus 2,500 equals 100. And we say 0. Let's add another one. And now we go in steps of 100. Okay, we say that we want to cut at exactly 180 degrees, but we also want to have linear speed already plus minus 50. So 180 minus 50 is 130. And we want exit velocity 1. So we will add another one, 240. 180 plus 50 equals 230. And equals 100 between master and slave means that we can put velocity 1. If we go to our cam profile, we see that we have stationary area for our slave, master is going, and then we have acceleration, we have our constant speed, and then the acceleration back to zero position. And then a new cycle. Now let's put this cam profile into our MC cam in or MC cam table select. Go to init. Here we put rotary knife. Now we need to also scale our master and our master needs to be scaled according to our master on a cam profile. Two and a half thousand for a model of value. In fact scaling we do not touch because scaling is exactly the same for a master and for a slave. Slave is modulo 360 now we need to provide certain type of code 
where we will define our length to cut. So first let's create a program, which is going to call len to cut. And let's call it. And we will call it before our motion function blocks. So len to cut and len to cut. Okay, let's create our program. I will create a program, then I will comment it. We have our basic logic where we are checking our master position and we say if master between 5 and 100, why not starting with 0 because around 0 it's very difficult to work especially if you're in standstill position and we have enough space because we put master modulo value to 2500 and we say we will cut only maximum value 2000 and then what we are recalculating our position where we take actual master position, we define our length to cut, which we, which is default value 2000. We decrease mac modulo value of the cam profile with our length to cut and apply this to our set position in advance. And then we execute set position and we wait for end of profile for a new period. Now we need to check our PLC program and because our piece of code is running before our motion function blocks, master position, F set position is going to be taken from a previous cycle. So if we execute MC set position after move velocity, we will make a drift of our real master axis by one PLC cycle. And we don't want to do that. So let's go to motion function blocks. And here we see that we are executing set position last and move velocity before that. So let's change the order. Now it's properly set set position and then afterwards we'll execute move velocity. Now let's go to our multi-axis control visualization. Here we will create one text box where we will input our length to cut. Now that we have our visualization, we will do one other thing. In soft motion axis pool, we will add device free encoder. And we will feed from our master axis the value that we feed all the way down to the drive to this encoder that we see how much we actually cut. And the basis for this is going to be our end of profile. So between two end of profile, there should be exactly enough space for our cut. So let's do this. Let's scale it to modulo and let's put something big like 200,000 and units in application is going to be 360 and 131072 is going to be our increments. Now we just need to feed this information to our encoder and we need to also select which cycle, iter cat task, IO mapping is going to be updated. Now what we need to go, 
to our program and let's do it after motion function blocks so smc free encoder dot d i encoder position equals master dot d i set position this will feed our encoder to a trace we don't need this value anymore we'll keep end of profile we'll have set position for master and slave and let's add our value from io global smc free encoder and let's go to f act position okay convert to multi-channel let's test this run and we download trace go to multi-axis control let's enable our drives execute set position on both now let's prepare our move velocity uh, we will run it at 200 and it's operation and now let's execute our table select this is done mc came in in sync and now let's move velocity immediately we see the jump and let's run it a few cycles again let's check our trace okay let's stop our trace and concentrate our two end of profiles cursor and go here another cursor we go here okay so we see here that we have exactly 2000 between our two end of profiles let's download the trace again and let's change now this to, for example, 1000. And let's see what will happen. And also on the motors, you can see that it's quite more frequent cutting. Let's put 500. And now it's more frequent because we are cutting shorter lengths. Let's again stop our trace and let's check the values. So if we check one end of profile or close enough and check another end of profile. We see that the difference is actually delta here is 500 this is basically the rotary knife application if you like the video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one bye